drones could save lives faster than paramedics can. Researchers in Sweden have tested using drones to deliver automated external defibrillators to those suffering cardiac arrest. In many cases, patients are too far away from hospitals to seek immediate treatment, and drones could be a faster way to help them. An automated external defibrillator, also known as an AED, is a portable device that sends an electric shock to the heart in order to restore a normal rhythm in the event of sudden cardiac arrest. Swedish researchers attached an AED to an eight-rotor drone, which has autopilot and GPS functions. The device was also painted in a fluorescent color, similar to ambulances, to help people visually locate it. A person who suffers a cardiac arrest requires immediate medical treatment, as their chances of survival are reduced by 10% for every minute they don't receive CPR and defibrillation. The drone is able to deliver the AED in just over five minutes, compared to the average standard ambulance delivery time of 22 minutes. According to the American Heart Association, more than 350,000 cardiac arrests take place in the U.S. each year, but only about 10% of patients survive. Researchers hope to save untold numbers of lives by reducing the delivery time of AEDs. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Drones could be very useful in medical emergencies. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. UPS tests drone delivery of medicine in Massachusetts. Logistics company UPS has partnered with drone maker Sci-Fi Works to conduct a test delivery using a drone last Thursday. The autonomous drone is battery powered and equipped with night vision. It also features a secure communication system, preventing information from being intercepted or disrupted. During the test flight, the drone flew from Beverly, Massachusetts to Children's Island, which cannot be accessed by cars. The drone flew three miles over the Atlantic Ocean and successfully delivered an asthma inhaler to a child at the camp. Sci-Fi Works said the drones are not going to replace delivery trucks, but are designed to make deliveries to remote or difficult to access locations. Ambulance drone to save heart attack patients within minutes. Dubbing it, quote, ambulance drone, a student at a Dutch university has developed a flying defibrillator that can respond within minutes after a heart attack sets in. The ambulance drone is equipped with a camera and a GPS navigation system. Powered by six propellers, the drone can reach a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour. When someone suffers a heart attack, bystanders can call an emergency hotline and an ambulance drone is next dispatched. Using a camera mounted on the drone, a staffer can then instruct bystanders to attach the defibrillator to the patient. The drone can transport the device to someone in need inside a 12 kilometer zone within one minute significantly increasing the survival rate of patients. Apart from the defibrillator, the developer hopes that the drone will be able to carry other medical supplies, such as oxygen masks and insulin injections. The developer aims to create an ambulance drone network in the Netherlands within five years. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. 
Parcel Copter Drone to deliver medicine to German Island. German logistics firm DHL has been given permission to use a drone to deliver parcels to Eust Island, the first time an unmanned aircraft has been authorized to deliver goods in Europe. The four-rotor parcel copter will carry medication and other urgently needed objects that weigh up to 1.2 kilograms. It takes up to 30 minutes for the drone to fly to Eust Island, which is 12 kilometers off Germany's northern coast. Because of privacy and safety concerns, the drone will not fly over houses on the island. German authorities have created a restricted flight area that will be used only by the drone. The trial for the drone will begin on Friday and is expected to continue until mid-October.